Hello my friends, my name is Ben and this is the fourth chapter or video in the MGN series Destiny Enemies Explained where I take away the very basic bare bones information that you have about the enemy races in the world of Destiny and fill it in with the lore, personality and the history of those races. Um, so the very first, I guess, race that we've been looking at in all these videos and blogs has been the Fallen. First video, first blog, looked at the House of Devils, second House of Exile, third House of Wolves, and today we will be looking at the House of Winter. Gotta tell you, um, this is a short and sweet one, boys, and thank goodness because I am literally falling into unconsciousness. Uh, if you watched my previous one, which was the House of Wolves, I made a disclaimer at the start saying that I was very tired. And I have yet to sleep since then, so yeah, we're doing great, and I'm talking, so we're going to just continue now. Um, like I said in pretty much the start of all of them, except for the first. In the first video, which was about the House of Devils, I cover a lot of information about the Fallen that can be applied to most of, if not all, of the traditional houses. So, whenever I say that a house is a traditional house, a lot of that information in the first video applies to them and so it will not be mentioned in this video. So if you want access to that information, so we're talking about what the whirlwind is, how the fallen used the ether to the distribution of the ether to separate the fallen into different classes and the type of equipment and weapons that the different classes use, all that fun stuff. Go to the first video on the MGN YouTube channel or go to the first blog on the MGN Destiny 2 website and check it out. However, if you don't want to do that or you already know it, then you're good to go. Stick with me. Um, so with that in mind, just let's get into it. With the origins and the identity of the House of Winter, they came into our system after the Whirlwind and they picked Venus as their home. A particular point of interest for the House of Winter was the Ishtar Academy. This was a Golden Age facility um, where the Vex were being studied and other just things in general being studied, I guess. They found this area really interesting because, of course, it had Golden Age tech, and as you should know by now, the Fallen love to scavenge Golden Age tech. The Fallen of the House of Winter also shared the planet with the Vex, and Although the two were not at constant war as, say, the Vex and the Cabal were on Mars, at least from the way it looks, the two forces would occasionally clash if they trespassed into each other's territory. Uh, the very basic information, I guess you could say, about the House of Winter was that the House of Winter wore a very light blue on their armor. I mentioned the term traditional house, and the House of Winter was a traditional house. and. As far as I'm aware, um, they've only had one documented Kel, at least before Skolis, and that Kel's name was Draxus. Draxus answered the call from Earth, and he led the House of Winter in the Battle of Twilight Gap. After their defeat there, the House of Winter would remain on Venus, and they would occasionally mess with ships on the way to the last city, and maybe do some raiding parties against humans, but they never really did anything major against the city, they kind of stayed on Venus. Uh, apart from that, their focus remained on Venus and just scavenging what they could from Golden Age facilities and the Vex. What should be noted though is that Draxus the Kel, he was a notorious guardian killer and he had an extremely high bounty placed on him by Kate 6 himself. Kate 6 being, well at the time, the Hunter Vanguard. Although the House of Winter has had great interest in Archons, breaking Axor from the Prison of Elders and then Nixus later on, it is unknown what the identity of their Archon was or even if they had one. If I had to give a guess, I don't think they had one or if they did, they probably died ages ago. As for their Prime Servitor, um, we know the name of the Prime Servitor, that was Simix Prime, but no one has any idea where Simix is and a lot of sources seem to suggest that Simix was destroyed some time ago. If they did in fact lose their Prime Servitor, then that would of course imply that that house's ability to create ether was certainly hindered to a certain extent. So apart from what I've just said, when you're looking at the identity of the House of Winter, there just, there just isn't much to tell. 
they're a very stereotypical house house when it comes to that oh man i'm getting so tired they came into the system after the whirlwind they settled on venus and they took part in the battle of twilight gap anything else apart from that could be summarized in just looting and the occasional harassment of the human ships with that being said an interesting side to the house of winter actually lies in its fate this brings us to of course the fate of the house of winter what happened to them in the end because so far the streak has not been broken every single house that i've mentioned no longer exists and that includes the house of winters so what happened to them as i mentioned before the kell of winter Draxus was a notorious guardian killer and he had a very high bounty on his head, but he was eventually tracked down by quote unquote the guardian, this being the player character. The player character or the guardian would go inside the House of Winter lair and they would battle their way onto Draxus's personal catch. They would cut through Draxus's guard and eventually confront him in his throne room and the guardian would kill Draxus. Now, if you played Destiny 1, at the time, if you did that story mission, I mean, I don't know how much it really would have meant to you. It certainly didn't mean much to me when I did at the time. However, if you're somebody who understands the wider lore surrounding the Fong, or even, you know, if you've been watching any of my videos or reading any of my blogs, you will understand that to kill the Kel is to become the Kel, no matter the species. So technically on that day, the Guardian became the Kel of the House of Winter. Now, technically, theoretically, metaphorically speaking, the Guardian could have taken control over the House of Winter from that point on and done some pretty cool stuff. But reality is often disappointing, and instead they kind of ditched Venus entirely and went off to Mars. So, with that being said, the Kel was dead, and the House of Winter was leaderless and broken. They would remain on Venus until Skolas would arrive with the House of Wolves. Skolas would announce himself as the Kell of Kells, and desperate for leadership, the House of Winter would join him. This would only be for a time, because only days after, Skolas would be captured, and the House of Wolves would be disbanded. And the same would be for the House of Winter. Similar to the House of Wolves after that point, the House of Winter would split three ways. Some would go to the House of Dusk, some would go to the House of Salvation on Europa, and some would join the Spider. However, a very small group would break into the Prison of Elders and get the Archon Nixus out, and this was during the Taken War. However, the whole plan would fail because Nixus would become Taken, and that would make the whole endeavor a waste of time. After that event, there's no record of any group from the House of Winter doing anything which suggests that the House of Winter ceased to exist. In conclusion, like I said, it's a short but sweet one, but that really is the history of the House of Winter. They were a typical Fallen House, and probably the most boring if I'm sharing my own opinions. Still, they were relevant to very important events in Destiny history, and so they should be valued along with the other Fallen Houses. If you want to know more about the House of Winter or the world of Destiny in general, visit IshtarCollective.net and DestinyPD.com. Of course, you know what I am. I am the gift that keeps giving. Give me time and I'll give you lore. My name is Ben and it's been a pleasure. Take care.